Hello, welcome back to Generation Gap Reacts. We are bringing a new artist to the channel and it is Meatloaf. And the song is Paradise by the Dashboard Light. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> very good, very good. Um, I don't know much about Meatloaf. I'm sure I've heard a song or two, but not an artist that I listen to or is even really in my radar. So I'm really excited to to actually listen to a song by him and kind of analyze it and just kind of go from there. This is pretty much the first time for me too. I know that I've heard of him and I, I probably will recognize one of his songs, this song maybe, but um, I couldn't I couldn't explain his music or his song titles. Yeah, all I remember Meatloaf from was a hundred years ago, he was on The Celebrity Apprentice, and he was, if I remember correctly, he was very much an underdog because, you know, maybe he didn't speak the most eloquently and he was kind of eccentric, but he was actually a pretty good player. He was a if great I remember. contestant, yes. Yeah, and he, he was kind of the underdog because people were just, the other celebrities were not intimidated by him, but I think he did a pretty good job. Yes, he did. Gosh, but that was so, so long, long ago. ago. And when I had watched it, man, I must've been a teenager, and I had never even heard of Meatloaf before. I just remember thinking, Meatloaf? Who's that? <laughs> to listen to one of his songs now. So are you ready to get started? Yes, I am. All right, let's go. Well, I remember every little thing as if it happened only yesterday. Walking by the lake and there was not another car inside. And I never expecting at all. This is fun. This is fun. I like it. It's fun. Uh, B, I love the piano and it had, it just kind of threw in a little bit of like rock in there. I don't know what style of music you would call this, but like it's pop rock kind of a blend. And he, I, I don't think, okay, there has to be a meatloaf song that I've heard before and maybe just didn't realize it was meatloaf, but he has a good voice. Excellent voice, and he's he's a great entertainer. He was really entertaining, and those facial expressions and those eyes. Yeah, and he has a lot of energy up on that stage. Yeah, so far, I really, I'm really loving it. I know. Baby, don't you hear my heart? You gotta drown it out the radio. I've been waiting so long for you to come along and have some fun. Well, I gotta let you know. So good, it never felt so right. 
Crawford. He's going to slide in head first. Here he comes. He's out. Go away. And if anyone says, let me sleep on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, my eyes are watering that's, from laughing. That's an answer right there. Let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it. <laughs> yeah, that's your answer right there. That was like a four part song. Yes, I didn't expect it to end the way it ended. It just it started off completely different. Yeah. And then it's about them as a kind of 
couple hook up? I don't know. I don't know if I would say couple. I mean, that's why I said off, couple hook up. Started off with 17 year olds getting frisky in the car. And then I loved the instrumental part where it was just, you know, and then it's insinuating what they're doing in the car. Paradise by the dashboard light. I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> and then what I would assume men automatically assume women need is, okay, now I gave it up. Now we need a relationship. <laughs> and then her kind of begging for that relationship and then him saying, let me sleep on it. Let me it. sleep on it. I'll get back to you. And then the ending of the song, which is just hilarious, which is, well, if I have to live the rest of my life with you, I'm, I'm looking forward to the end because <laughs> I can't survive with you. I mean, how, I mean, it's funny and I feel like it's lighthearted and what a showman, both of them. I don't know who the woman is. She is wonderful. She was fantastic. I also really loved her makeup. She kind of gave me this like, um, is the 20s or 30s? Is that the right time era where they had those eyebrows? It was, um, I'm going to go with 20s or 30s time. She had that kind of look to her face. And I loved her stage presence, but I loved Meatloaf's stage presence too. What a character. He's so funny. He's like kind of, I already said earlier in the video that he was eccentric. And so he still is in his, his charisma and his stage presence was very eccentric. And then those eyes, he got, he had them crazy eyes multiple times <laughs> and they were just, what a pair up on stage. They're wonderful together. They're wonderful singing together. Yeah. And they have some comedy there. Yeah. It was just um, so much fun. That was just a roller coaster, like a wild roller coaster of a song with, like, where is it going to go, right? And they're, they're, they're singing. They have this fantastic stage presence, a little bit of acting in there. Yeah. You know, because even with her eyes, I don't know if you noticed her eyes when she was... Yeah. They weren't just standing next to each other singing the song. They were involved in the performance. Lots of body language. Yeah. It was fun. Fantastic. I think that was a lot of fun. And I don't know a lot about Meatloaf. So I don't know. Is this, is this the equivalent? Is this song to him the equivalent to like Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody? You know, I, I don't know. Is that kind of, I would say, the equivalent for him? Um, but it was just a really fun song. And <laughs> I'll have to listen to that again. I appreciate the humor. And I, I'm sure people can relate to it too. From the female perspective and the male perspective. Oh, yes, definitely. They can probably relate to what he's singing about, what they were both singing about. <laughs> you know, sometimes people just hook up just to hook up and then sometimes you hook up and one wants a relationship and I'm not gonna say it's always the ladies but in this instance it is and then sometimes the other person's like Ugh. <laughs> let me no, sleep on it let me sleep on it <laughs> <laughs> boy what a put down that would be oh, what a man. put down that would be your answer right there like okay move on lady yeah you have to read that book he's just not that into you <laughs> that's 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 the red flag right there. He's yes. just not that into you. Yes, Let me definitely. sleep on it. <laughs> Time to move on. <laughs> or if you just want to hook up. That was move funny. on. <laughs> that was a great song. I yes. really enjoyed it. It was like a whole theatrical performance. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe to our channel. Talk to us in the comments. We love reading comments. We love reading information about artists and bands and inspiration behind the songs and I feel like we're learning a lot about music just from having this reaction channel so keep the comments coming and we'll see you in the next video thank you for watching <laughs> bye, bye.